If your body is feeling sore and achy and tired in your pregnancy, this is the perfect class to make your body feel better. This is what helped me and this class was voted my favorite class by my students in my prenatal yoga class. Today we're going to be doing the best stretches for pregnancy using the yoga ball. As well, in every class, we always do birth prep to prepare for a faster and an easier labor. If you like videos like these, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified every week when we do new pregnancy, yoga, and fitness and health videos. We're gonna start with some easy hip circles. So you can take your feet a little bit wider apart, find a comfortable position on the ball, and when you're ready, start doing some little hip circles. And really this is just for whatever feels good, warming up as we're growing the baby, our hips are opening up in order to get ready to let baby out. So this should feel really good. And you can bring it as big as you like. Ball is making kind of a squeaky noise here. <laughs> and when you're ready, you can go the other way. So again, starting a little bit smaller and getting bigger as it feels good. And starting to take some deeper breaths. And we'll do one more on this side it and bring back to a neutral spine. From here we can bring the feet a little bit closer together and we're just going to stretch out our side body. And so you can kind of poke your hip out a little bit there and if it helps you can bring your knees to the other side and inhale, reach overhead and just how it feels good stretch out through there. Take a couple breaths here. And when you're ready, we'll move over to the other side. And so sticking out your hip and taking your knees across and reaching over to get a good stretch. And one more breath here. And inhale, coming up. And I'm gonna to turn to the side here, but we're gonna do some sort of cat and cow on the ball here. And so we'll start, um, feet can just be, actually we'll take them wider apart. We're gonna fold forward here as well. And so if it's comfortable, you can clasp the hands behind you. If not, you can just grab your elbows and inhale. We're gonna open up the chest. And then on an exhale, you can unclasp your hands, place them, on your thighs and fold forward. Lots of room for your belly. Take a breath here and then roll up. And inhale, opening up your chest, looking up, lengthen your spine. And exhale, release forward. And take a breath here, releasing your back. And rolling up. Do that one more time. And folding forward again. And from here, we're going to walk forward on the ball and we're going to open up our back. And once you have the ball sort of under your back here, you can just flop open as a gentle back opener. Close your eyes if that feels good and breathe.
And one more breath here. And then we will roll up again very carefully. Now we're going to do some standing stretches. And so we'll come up and keep the ball in front of us for stability here. And we're going to use the ball with our right hand and stand up as straight as you can. And we're going to ground our right foot and place our left ankle into your hand. And we'll move into dancer's pose by pressing your foot into your hand to bow out. And you can roll the ball forward if that feels comfortable. And you can focus a little bit more on stretching because you've got the ball for stability. And we'll take a couple of breaths here. And on an exhale, start to release the pose and place that foot on the ground. And you can take your feet a little bit wider than hip di distance apart and roll the ball forward into a forward fold. So stretching out the hamstring, stretching out the back. If you want to, you can bend your knees and breathe. And from here, we're gonna heel toe our feet in together and keeping our hips square towards the front, we'll take our right foot back and you can move your left foot forward a little bit into pyramid pose. And take a few more breaths here. And bending your front leg, you can step your feet together again and roll the ball back in. And we'll start with dancer's pose on the other side. So placing your left fingertips on the ball and placing your right ankle in your hand and pressing in, bowing out and tipping forward if that's comfortable for you. And on an exhale, rolling the bow back in and releasing, taking your feet apart again and rolling the ball forward for a forward fold over the ball, spreading your toes and breathe. And when you're ready, heel toeing your feet together and this time taking your left foot back, right foot forward for pyramid on the other side. Spreading your toes, pressing into the four corners of your feet lifting your front knee and when you're ready slowly releasing out and bending that front leg and coming back up to a standing position now we're going to kneel down on the ground with the ball in front of us here. If you have a hard time kneeling, you could always fold your mat up under your knees or put a pillow under, under your knees. Now we're gonna move into half split. And so we can roll the ball out in front of us, take your knees together and bring your right foot on 
in front of you and you can roll the ball over a little bit so that you can forward fold um, directly in front of you. And make sure that you're not going too far because of the hormone relaxin. We don't want to overstretch. We're just trying to make our body feel good. We're not going to try to make progress on our flexibility here. And inhale, standing up tall. And on an exhale, you can roll the ball forward and just go as, as far as feels good, as far as comfortable. And if it feels good, we can flex the foot a few times and wake up the hamstrings. And take a couple more breaths here. And we'll roll in the ball, come up again. And from here, we're gonna swing our left foot around to the back and keeping that foot out to the side, you can flex that foot. And we're gonna do a side stretch over, inhale and roll the ball out again and reach to the side. And one more breath here and inhale coming up and we're going to switch sides I'm going to switch the ball around to the other side so I don't face away from you guys and again bringing your knees together and left foot out in front of you and when you're ready rolling the ball forward into half split and if you want to flex and point your foot And then take a couple of breaths here on this side. Rolling in the ball, coming up to a vertical position, swinging around that right foot and facing the side and rolling the ball out and taking a nice stretch to the side here. And one more breath here. And inhale, coming up. And now we're gonna take a squat and so however is comfortable, if you need to stand up or you can just move right into a squat, a birthing squat position. So all the way down, if you wanna put a towel or a blanket or a block under your heels or your heels are up, that's absolutely fine. And we will just take our upper body and relax the body over the ball. If you wanna wiggle your hips around, we're just practicing opening up our hips here. So today's class is a fairly short class. Let me know in the comments what your ideal class length is during pregnancy and so that I can make more of that length of video for you. And if you are not yet 36 weeks, so you're below that, we'll do some Kegels here and Kegel up, imagining you're picking up a raisin or a blueberry and sucking it up into you and release that's two three four five six seven eight nine last one great job and then bring it up and hold for ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and release if you're 36 weeks or past just focus on relaxing we want to open up our pelvic floor to get ready to let the baby out perfect so you can place your hands one hand down on the ground and come back into a child's pose 
and we'll stretch out our back and roll forward into a child's pose over the ball. Take a couple of breaths. When you're ready, you can roll your ball in and we will scoot around to sit on our bum for a wide-legged forward full. So again, just bringing your legs out as far as feels comfortable for you. Um, a little bit of stretch, but nothing painful. And if you wanna sit up straight and relax your head on your ball here, you can. Or if you wanna roll forward and have a little bit more of a stretch here. It's really relaxing to put some pressure between your eyebrows or on your third eye. And we'll take a couple of breaths here. Keeping the legs activated and the toes flexing up. And one more breath here. And when you're ready, coming up, rolling your ball in. And now we're gonna move into butterfly push. So carefully bringing your legs in. We're actually done with the ball for now. And we'll bring our feet together into butterfly push position. Scoot your heels in as close to your hips as you can. Open your feet up like a book. And I used to pick yoga cards at the end of my classes, but I've actually made some that are specific for pregnancy. And so while we're in this position, we can do that. And we'll just pick one out of here. Um, the one that I picked for today is sort of a message to your baby. And it's, I will believe in you. I will encourage you and I will cheer for you always. And this is by an author, Vesna Bailey. So if you want me to pick a specific yoga card for you, put a note in the comment, just say pick a yoga card for me in your name and I will pick a special one just for you. Or if you want to download um, a free copy of your own pregnancy yoga cards, um, I'll put the link in the description box below as well. So sitting up tall and now if you want to take some breaths forward. And one more breath here and feeling like there's a string pulling you all the way up, coming up and we'll move into Shavasana. I'm going to grab a pillow and a bolster for under my head and underneath my knee. And so just get down in a position on your left hand side that's comfortable for you getting down safely on your side and put your knee over a pillow or a bolster and once you're there relaxing your whole body feeling your body heavy you can place your hand on your tummy and connect with your baby and just watch your breath when you're ready, wiggling your fingers and your toes and long body stretch and push back up into a seated position. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. And of course, you can go down to the description box. We have a complete guide on all of the tools and techniques to reduce pain in labor if you're interested in that and preparing for your labor. And of course, you can grab your copy of your yoga cards as well. And namaste to you and namaste to the babies. We'll see you next time. 
If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please share it with your pregnant friends, hit the like button as well as subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell to get notified when we release new pregnancy, fitness, and yoga and health videos.